nityam avatyaya Dehe sarvasya bharata Dehe sarvasya bharata Tasmat sarvani bhutani Tasmat sarvani bhutani Natvam shotito marhasi Natvam shotito marhasi The dweller in the body of everyone of Bharat is eternal and can never be slain. Therefore, you should not grieve for any creature. How can one discover the soul? Dr. Radhakrishnan, who wrote this translation that you're seeing right now, has shown, given three very beautiful phrases to teach us. If you can't see it, there's a question that enters your mind. If you can't hear it, and you can't talk about it, then there must be a way to discover the soul. Discovering the soul is a matter of experience. So how can you have that experience? You have to be willing to pay the price in three ways, Dr. Radhakrishnan says. First, self-discipline. Second, steadfastness. Third, non-attachment. First, self-discipline. Second, steadfastness. Third, non-attachment. Whoever has these three things can experience the soul. And the Gita will teach us later how to attain these qualities. In fact, later in this chapter. What Sri Krishna is saying in this verse, that you have to look at it from a certain view. If you look at it from the view of yourself, um, that it will, it will take you to something. Um, if you look at yourself in terms of the body, you realize that you've got limited time on this earth. You've got very, very limited time. And in that time, if you use that time correctly to find this eternal soul, using those three things, you've got self-discipline, steadfastness, non-attachment, you'll reach your goal. And if you don't reach your goal, we've already described from the sixth chapter of the Gita what happens. So if you want to attain a soul, then you have to go towards someone which is eternal. And the only reason why we have grievous grievances in our lives is because our lives start from the other. It starts from the other person. The other person becomes important. The person whose life starts with himself, his soul, it helps his body, and he also can experience the soul living inside his body. So until this verse, we've spoken about verses 11 to 30, have been about Samkhya, but from verse 31, Sri Krishna is going to talk about a new subject. I said earlier, the second thing that the Lord is going to talk about in this chapter is for Dharma, meaning what is your duty? I explained earlier, that you can't say that there's a universal rule, for example, that it's wrong to lie. They gave the example that if someone is running past you in like a yellow t-shirt with blood covered all of his body and someone follows him with a knife, says, where's this person in a yellow t-shirt? Would it be right or wrong to say the truth there? See, there's no universal laws. Each and every person has his personal laws, which is a dharma, which is not someone in a book. The books, the scriptures can guide you. It's a swadharma. Next class, we're going to discuss three things mainly in detail. We're going to explain scientifically, logically, as I said earlier, the Varna system. Not the caste system, Varna system. Logically, in a lot of detail, we're going to discuss this. Second, we're going to discuss why the world was created, why we came into being. What's the point of all this if we're the soul, we're going back? What's the reason for this? Third, how do you discover that swadharma? How do you discover that gift that you have that nobody else in the world has? The most direct method, I said, is this old car meditation, first of unwrapping that gift. But if you want to think about this, if you want to think about what's the talent we've got, we'll discuss that in the next class. And I have a very good example from Rabindranath Tagore. Who's heard of Rabindranath Tagore? Nobel Prize winner, uh, poet from India. Um, we're going to discuss in his life. A very, very unique person who achieved his Swadharma. So those are the main three topics. We moved, uh, we bowed down to Samkhya scriptures. We're going to move on to the second uh, topic in the second chapter. Three topics in the second chapter, which uh, Vinoba Bhave, who is a freedom fighter in India, he wrote one of the most authentic English translations of the Gita. Who remembers what they are? Who remembers? Verses 11 to 30, Samkhya, which is the logical scriptures, the immortality of the soul, mortality of the body. Verses 31 to 54, about Swadharma, what is my duty? What is the right thing for me to do? Verses 55 to um, 72, 18 verses, is how do you recognize who's someone who's Sita Pragna, settled in intelligence? Do you look at their outer qualities or inner qualities? And describe the eight steps that leads to the downfall of any human being or any organization, whatever. But next class, we're going to start a very, very relevant chapter for youngsters. And if you've got any younger cousins, younger friends, whatever, bring them along. Very, I'm teaching 
my boss these principles, my boss is in his 50s. Um, so very, very important principles of Swat Dharma we're going to go through in the next class. Okay, let's uh, rebound out to Sankhya Yoga and have a, a very, uh, wish you all a happy new year. Guru Guruji has given his blessings to you all for the new year and we'll meet all again next week, uh, next Tuesday at the same time.